A final dose of intoxication fills the glass. It may be the last sip, but it's the first that leaves me shattered. Looking into the mirror, I finally see the monster, reflecting his evil back at me, filling my innocence with crime. It's not as bad as you think. You'll definitely have to serve prison time, but maybe not for that long. If you stop drinking, go to rehab, and you do a ton of community hours, you might only be looking at a few years. Look, I know you're upset, but you gotta stop living in the past. Maybe Molly can move into the city and you can be with her when you get out. You always wanted to live in Toronto, right? You said it might help with your writing. Steven, you gotta talk to me, man. Say something. Anything. What's the worst sentence I can get? Oh, come on. We don't need to talk about that crap. What is it? Steven, please. Life. Well, I guess I'll see you in the retirement home, then. I can get us a better deal. There are precedents that, for life sentences, and the more, most you'd have to serve is five years. I can help you. Maybe it's not help that I want. What the hell does that mean? Maybe I should go to prison. Christ. Look, I know you hate yourself. What's done is done. There's no turning back. You want to go to prison? What's going to prison going to do? You're just going to sit there and rot your whole life. Who's that going to help? His family. Oh, please. Going to prison is not going to bring him back, is it? No. But they'll know I'm away. For good. Steven, please. <sighs> Stop. You don't know shit. When I was here, drinking away, a week and a half ago, where were you? With your family, right? You weren't here to see what kind of monster I can become. You remember two years ago, when I had you over? And I showed you that bottle of scotch that I was saving for me and Molly's 10 year anniversary? Well, the night of the accident, I polished that off. You see, when I drink, Lewis, I'm a completely different person. And I've got to be put away. I really should have said something, huh? Oh, fuck off. No, I'm... I saw how you were drinking. I saw what you were doing to yourself. I could have said something and I didn't. Wish I would have said something. Oh, will you shut the fuck up? I'm losing my mind just listening to you.
As I recall, there are multiple occasions where you told me I should slow down, and I should stop drinking, and I should see someone. Now, did I listen? No. So it's not your fault that I chose to drink as much as I did. Oh, and another thing. What? You're not the one that hit a seven-year-old with your car. I'm really sorry, Molly. I tried to do it. Don't be. Don't be sorry. You couldn't have done anything. I think I should probably go. Yeah, I think so too. Have a good night. You too. How are you feeling? Fine. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Did you talk about what you're gonna say? Didn't you talk to Lewis? Sorry? Didn't you talk to Lewis? No. Well, I, I mean, I did, but he didn't say much. Well then. I told him I wanted the worst sentence possible. Steven. I know... I know you're upset about what happened, but trust me, you don't want to spend the rest of your life in jail. And why wouldn't I want that? You're young. You made a mistake. You can't throw your whole life away just because of one thing that you did. If I get anything less than a worse sentence, that boy's family will hate me for the rest of their lives. Maybe they will, but don't you want to make a difference? Don't you want to stop future drunk drivers from making the same mistake that you did? 
mis- that was not a mistake. Stop calling it a mistake. All right. I made the choice to drive, and I hit that boy. You it were, was not a mistake. You were drunk. You couldn't make rational decisions. Well, I made a rational decision to drink now, didn't I? I'll have to visit you then. What? I'll have to visit you. In prison. Every day I'll be there. You don't want to waste your time with me. What are you talking about? You seriously want to devote your time to me? A husband who won't be there for you. I'm going to prison and I'm making sure it's a long time. You are not waiting. Steven, why can't I come and visit you? (sighs) Because I don't want you to waste your time visiting a murderer. Stop calling yourself a murderer. Well, that's what I am, aren't I? You can't beat yourself up forever. You have to have some sympathy for yourself. And when did I deserve sympathy? I just don't like seeing you hurt yourself. I'm just concerned about your well-being. You haven't talked to me in two weeks. I haven't been myself for a lot longer than two weeks. Cap's here. Steven! How are you still here? What? I haven't appreciated you in a long time. I've ignored you, I've been a complete asshole, and you're still here. Why? Why do you want to stay with me? Because I love you. Bullshit! I stay up all night drinking by myself and I leave a big mess for you to clean up the next day and you still love me? Give me a break. I've killed someone. I've ripped away a family's child. And you want to stand here and tell me you still love me? How can you not think I'm a monster? Monsters don't feel guilt. Look, I hate who you were that night. The man you were was a monster. But he died in that accident. Now it's just you. A final dose of intoxication fills the glass. It may be the last sip, but it's the first that leaves me shattered. Looking into the mirror, I finally see the monster reflecting his evil back at me, filling my innocence with crime. I fill his innocence with fear, his loved ones with grief, and put the monster to sleep for good. It may be the last time the monster attacks, but he will always be there.